Hello, Dr. David Heimarsh from GP Templates. In this series of videos, we're going to look at the very basics of System 1 so that if you're unfamiliar with using it, such as if you're a registrar just starting out or you're a locum and you've not used it before, then at least it gives you a rough idea of where to go. I have a lot more in-depth videos looking at template creation and also trying to sort of maximise the use out of System 1 elsewhere on my YouTube channel. So we're going to dive into System 1 and in this video we're going to look at medications and both acute and chronic uh, prescriptions. So let's dive in and get on with it. Dealing with medications we go back to Tommy Test who's coming for his uh, dry skin so let's prescribe him some dermal. We can give him an acute script just by clicking the lovely prescribe button there okay and it'll pop up. As long as you hit three uh, letters then we should be able to hit search we should be able to find what's going on and give a massive list of what's going on there. So we've got dermal, click on that, let's hit dermal cream, hit OK and you can see it's fairly self-explanatory. Now we've got the number here. Now what's sometimes interesting to do if you want a bigger tub is to have a look at packs. Okay, So you can either give them a couple of the hundred packs or you can actually just change the size of it. So I want to give you a big tub of dermal to slather all over you. Okay, You can either keep it users directed or you can use that. Uh, you can change it to your own will. And then put how many days it's going to last for. You must include that because otherwise it won't it won't let you save it. And then hit OK. Hit proceed. Okay. So we've now got the intervention there, and that shows that we've prescribed something. Now, once you've done that, you could and you've still say got to type up your notes, but you want to give the script so you can type them up once they've gone. You can just hit the quick print bit there, and that will pop up. And that will automatically just print the script going. You'll probably hear the computer whirring on the way in the background. The other way, so that's a cute simple script. There we go, so we're just waking up. On the flip side though, if you haven't printed them out, once you hit save, it will pop up with a box that says, do you want to print these scripts? Okay, and we'll try and get that up for you. So that's a cute script, very quick and simple. Repeat scripts. Now let's pull this up. Let's give ourselves a bit more room. You can see we've got a list of our repeat ones here and we've got what it is, we've got the read code associated with it, when they're last issued, when it should be reviewed and how many issues of the authorised that they've had. Okay. Now what we can do if say they just come in for my uh, Bisoprolol is we can just hit right click and it gives us all of these here so if you've got you know different bits and pieces but if they said oh while I'm here can I just have this fine just hit issue okay now it's popped up with that because the issues are two of two and it gives you the options to either reauthorize it amend it or just issue anyway I'm gonna hit issue anyway because I'm being naughty comes up with all our interactions hit proceed and you can see it's chipped three out of two not very good practice but anyway I'm sure you'll forgive me now that's again and when we hit save the consultation it just pop up with do you want to print this yes please thank you very much if we want to add a new one if we just hit this uh set up a new repeat template say that dermal cream quite liberally we're going to change the pack size now Everyone's slightly different. At our practice, we don't have review dates. We use the month of their birth. So what we do is we we deselect the review date and then we just add in assuming that one script is a month. So then whatever month we're in, we'll make it up to that birth month. Okay, so in our case, we're currently in February, so we're gonna add 10, so it takes them to January of next year. Patient can initiate issues. Repeat template can be reauthorized. Thank you very much. Now it's all because we put the diagnosis in. It will automatically put that read code into it. I would suggest it's very good practice to have it. But if you haven't got that one or you disagree with it, uh, then click read code and it'll go up with the read code journal. But actually, what's incredibly useful is you've got the current consultation. So anything that you've put in your consultation as a read code, it's got it there. And what you can do is just select it and then hit that to move it across because it's already there just delete it so you've got delete there as well click on it across there it is already good to go and but if you don't quite believe it you can flick through all these okay 
and you can uh, try and find the recode. Failing that, just click on that one and you can find it there just through the use. Okay. And hit OK and it's there with you good to go. Hit OK. Must issue a duration. So as I said, so we want each top to last 30 days. Hit OK. Job is done. And as you can see here, we've got a repeat script and we've got that cute one that we've just printed. Okay. We can see what's been printed already if we go on to that. And you can see that already the FB10 has been printed by myself. And that was the repeat. And we can always view this script if we're not quite sure what we've done. So that was the dermal, the acute one. But we haven't yet printed this one yet. So if we hit save the consultation, and we come up with this screen. Okay, and we can just hit print them now, or we can either hit print them later, say if you're on a split site and you want someone else to print it, or do not print them, say if you've given them a handwritten note. But we hit print them now, hit OK, and you'll hear the computer whirring into life. Printer, sorry, you know what I mean. Okay, so that's a very quick introduction into using Acute uh, re and repeat prescriptions and how to set them up very quickly. Again, this is just give you a rough handle of how to do it. You'll find, as with anything, with practice that you'll be able to do it much quicker. Have a chat to other clinicians and how they use System 1. There are multiple ways to achieve the same outcome, so just ask around, okay? Thank you very much for watching this video. This is part of the uh, basic introductions to System 1. Check out my other YouTube videos for more in-depth how-to guides. And follow me on uh, Twitter with the handle at GP Templates. And please feel free to subscribe to this channel, like the video, and give me drop me an email if you've got any suggestions. Admin at gptemplates.co.uk. Many thanks for your time and good luck on System 1. Many thanks.